Oh. Hey guys, Sentinel H here bringing you something completely different. Uh, first off, I hope it's cool where you're at because I am just burning up. So if you hear a bit more noise in the background than usual, it's because I got fans running, my windows open, because it's just it's way too hot in here to have that stuff off and close. So first thing you're going to notice is that this isn't Minecraft. It kind of looks like Minecraft, but Minecraft doesn't have outer space. Well, this is Star Maid, uh, guys, and I know this is a Minecraft channel, but this game is so similar to Minecraft uh, that I really want to cover it because um, I think it's really awesome. So if you are unfamiliar with Star Maid, it's basically Minecraft in space is the easiest way to describe it. Um, it's got the, it's got, uh, everything's made out of blocks, it's got planets, it's got uh, asteroids, uh, and it's got building, it's got mining, and it's got um, crafting. Uh, so it's, it's a lot like Minecraft, but it's, it's in space. Uh, it's in alpha, and it's free, so you've no reason not to pick it up and check it out. So um, this is my ship. Uh, a big thing, the biggest thing in Star Maid is uh, making ships. Um, let me just get into this ship, actually. So here you see my ship. We're in build mode right now. Um, so this is what you do in Star Maid. Uh, you build ships. Uh, you fly these ships around. Uh, you gather resources. You fight. Um, AIs, you fight other players, and, uh, and and you just you start out with a small ship maybe like this, and then you just start building onto it and building onto it, and eventually you may end up building uh, massive capital ships. Um, so let's run through this real quick. Uh, what's what's the deal with this uh, ship here? If you're unfamiliar completely with StarMade, um, then uh, we'll get from the beginning. I'm not going to cover uh, in depth shipbuilding because there's plenty of tutorials, uh, really good ones put out by the guys who are, are developing this game. Uh, it is an alpha, so uh, content's limited, but there's still a lot of stuff to do. So, this is my ship core, this block right here, and then um, that forms the basic uh, core of the ship. I don't have a cockpit yet, so I just have this exposed. Not the best idea, but since I'm not looking for pirates, uh, I'm pretty safe. So, you build your ship off the core. Um, I've got some hull plating, this black stuff. Um, I got some wedges. This is the thing that this game has that Minecraft doesn't. Are these uh, wedge blocks, um, triangles, so that you can make some cool-looking shapes like this. I think it, it kind of looks borgy, I guess, just because it's black and green, but uh, it's not a giant cube. So, um, if you're wondering, these green things are salvage cannons. You can see it says it right there. And uh, what these do is they're basically mining lasers, uh, which is they uh, chew through the rock. Uh, and they gather whatever, they, they break blocks and then they gather them and put them in your inventory uh, so you can sell it. You see all those blocks at the bottom there on my hotbar um, that I've been collecting with my uh, salvage lasers here. And uh, a nifty thing, uh, one of the coolest mechanics I think uh, about Star Maid is the idea that when you put uh, blocks of the same type together uh, they become more powerful. So um, all these cannon blocks are facing the same way which uh, makes these a more powerful cannon. So if I just had one block here, uh, it, it will mine really, really slowly. But because I have all these uh, lined up like this, they uh, it mine they mine faster and they require more power. But I still haven't run into uh, a power deficiency yet, so um, I'm pretty good on that. Um, and these yellow blocks here are my engines, and um, so those give me uh, propulsion. Now I just found out today that you don't actually have to put these on the back of the ship. They don't actually have to have. Uh, uh, open to the uh, space. You can put them wherever you want. They have to be facing the right way, which is awesome. Uh, so I'll probably redesign this later. And, um, and you can see in the middle here, uh, it's called a SDHCT. Uh, this is a power unit. So uh, if you play modded Minecraft, this is kind of like a, a generator slash battery. Um, at the bottom you'll see a, a power bar, uh, PW, and that's what this does. So these uh, power blocks give you the power that you need and everything runs on power. Uh, on the far left you see there's little words there. I've currently got uh, 20,000 power uh, and I gain 763 uh, energy per second which is you know way more than what my ship currently uses. So you see a lot of stuff about that. Um, so this is my basic ship. I built it with the starting resources and I've just been mining. So um, let me hit space bar to go into flight mode and uh, and this is the view out of my uh, controller. This is the view that I fly with. Um, so uh, kind of obstructed by the cannons a little bit but you know not too bad. Um, the X, the cross in the middle, that's your crosshair. That's where the lasers are going to fire at and uh, when it's green I guess means that you're in range. Um, so if I hold down the left mouse button, 
I'm firing my lasers and uh, you'll see one beam comes out of it, uh, each uh, laser. There's none in the middle because uh, that's where my uh, cockpit currently is. But you'll see it's chewing up the blocks and uh, as it's chewing these blocks up it'll be putting them into my inventory. Now you can't see your full inventory while you're in the ship because um, the hot bar you see at the bottom there is not my inventory anymore it's my ship systems so you'll see that number one is highlighted uh, because that is the computer that is controlling all of these lasers so when I have one selected I can fire the lasers but if I deselect one and select two and left click nothing happens so I have to have one selected uh, to fire the lasers and they are gathering blocks and if I hit I, you can see my inventory, my hotbar inventory. Here I have uh, 94 soil. If I uh, gather a bit more of this red dirt... Oh, no, wait, it's not the same block. Oh, red dirt, 137 red dirt. So let's gather some more red dirt. Now we're up to 145. So that's what I've been doing, uh, mining these uh, these asteroids. You see here um, this block right here, which is some the, with the red stuff on it. That's a that's an ore block. So these ores are worth more than the dirt, obviously. But honestly, dirt sells for one uh, like one credit a piece. And since I've got so much of it, uh, you know, it, it actually makes quite a bit of a decent amount of credits. Um, blocks aren't too expensive, um, except for glass. I think that's like 500. But uh, I mean, I can buy another one of these cannons for pretty cheap and the, the more of these salvage beams I add on the more uh, powerful it's gonna get so let's um, leave this asteroid and uh, try and find wait where okay so if I hit N because this is space and there's a lot of stuff around then I it gives me a list of all the space objects that are uh, around me and um, oh, there's a station there so here we go, a shop. So if I click on this, now the shop is highlighted, this uh, white triangle at the top. These triangles point you towards everything, so if I hold W, I am accelerating. You can see the speed at the top, which is the number under underneath weapon. Um, you can see that's uh, 49, you know, 50 is the max speed right now, kilometers an hour, um, which I think is a little slow, to be quite honest. Uh, maybe they'll change that later. But right now it tops out at 50 and more engines just allow you, I guess, to accelerate and decelerate faster. A nifty thing you can do in this game is that, see, I'm accelerating in this direction. I can spin my ship around. And I'm still accelerating in that direction. Well, I'm decelerating a bit, but I'm, uh, I'm still moving. So you can, uh, you can do that. Even if you're traveling forward, you can still turn around. So if I hold shift, I can come to a stop. And now I'm at the shop and up in the right corner it says shop in range so I can press B and it tells you the uh, hotkeys at the top which is really nice so you don't forget and I can, uh, now I'm in the shop screen I can drag all this junk, all this vendor trash if you play MMOs and I can sell it sell all of this I would like a way um, I think what they should add is the ability to like quick sell things. As far as what I, I know it's super early on Alpha, but um, like you can't like there's no button you can combination I know of that will let you just instantly sell what's in your inventory. I think that would be a cool addition. Let's see, you see that one block sold for like a thousand because it's a, a valuable ore. So I'm selling all this stuff. And uh, I made about 4,000 4, credits. And uh, with that, I'm going to buy, let's go here, a couple more salvage cannons. I'm going to buy uh, eight of those, enough to upgrade each of my batteries. So if I go back into build mode, and I'll show you how to build. Real simple, but it's really quite tricky to get used to if you're used to playing Minecraft. Um, because in Star Made, it's actually left click to place blocks. So it's it's left click to place blocks, not uh, right click. Now I actually have to get rid of this because I have to reach my salvage computer. 
So the salvage computer controls the salvage beams. You have to have one in order to use them. And I have to select it. So I have to hit C. And now it says in the top left the salvage computer is selected. Now I can, and the uh, salvage cannons are uh, illuminated in purple. Now I can add extra salvage cannons. And they are all facing forward. The arrow on the little box is the uh, direction that the block you're placing is pointed. And I can add one extra cannon to each. And you see that green line that lets me know that it's going to connect to that computer. Now I've added all my cannons. Now I'm going to select the ship's core again. I need to redesign my ship. <laughs> I need to make it bigger, but that's what I'm getting resources for. And I can add the power block back, and I can add these two engine blocks back. Okay, so now, now we're all good. Because the engine blocks, you, you want the engine blocks to be connected to the... Uh, why is... Oh, it's, okay, yeah. You want the engine blocks to be connected to the ship's core. Um, that's what I've seen in the uh, tutorials. So that's what I'm doing. So now I've increased the power of all my beams. And I can hit space to go back into flight mode. And if I hit N, and I go back into this menu, and I look around for an asteroid. Here, there's an asteroid really close by. I don't know if we'll be able to actually see the difference or not with just one extra additional beam. But maybe we'll be able to... Oh, slow down, stop. Uh, stop, 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 stop. Okay, yeah. And now you can hit uh, Q to go down and E to hover straight up. And if I hold Shift uh, to keep the brake on, it may, I'll uh, be more controllable. Yeah, that's actually braking uh, quite a bit faster, actually. Um, I, I think, yeah, it's definitely destroying the blocks faster. So just uh, one additional block per um, thing is doing quite well. Uh, now, so this is Star Made. Um, I might make a couple more videos on this game. Just let me know if it's something you want to see. Um, I didn't want to put like other games other than Minecraft on this channel, but I just figured Star Made is like so similar to Minecraft. I mean, it's all blocks, it's building, it's crafting, it's mining. It's just in space. So. If you want to see more of this, then uh, let me know and I'll, uh, I'll make, make more. Otherwise, this might be the only video I make. But I'm, I'm really excited for this game. I think it's going to be just, it's gonna be awesome. It's in really early alpha right now, so I mean, it's going to be a long time. But like I said, it's free to download. I'll put the link to their website on the, in the description. Um, oh, and there's lava inside this asteroid, see? And, um, and you can go check it out. Uh, totally free. So you've, you've really no reason not to check this game out if it looks at all interesting to you. The shipbuilding mechanics are quite a bit more complicated than what I've described, but generally it's just, you know, you, you just add the blocks you need to get the resource you need. If you need more power, add more power blocks. If you need more thrust, add more thrusters. Uh, it's really that simple. I mean, actually building a ship that can survive in combat, um, a bit beyond my little ship here, which would probably get destroyed instantly because there's no shields, and my core is directly exposed in the front, so... I <laughs> I mean, aside from the fact it has no weapons. I mean, I would just get obliterated, but I'm just mining for resources, which is, you know, okay. So, so this is Star Made. So, um, definitely check it out. And, uh, that's all I got. So, I've been Sentinel H, and, uh, I'm signing out.